Oh, baby, I've been waiting all day for you. Ah, oh, yeah. Been working way too hard today. That is a damn good monster. Cold, too. Mm. Hey, manager. Safety manager. Excuse me? It's safety manager. It's not man. It's not manager. Safety manager. Anyone who's anyone can manage, but only those appointed in writing can manage safety. So, it's safety manager. Now, you're going to address me as safety manager, and I'm going to address you as... Kyle, maintenance. Kyle, yes. So what the hell you want? Oh, well, the Helio safety inspection is done, so we just need to review the discrepancies. You did what on what? What in the fuck is happening right now? What inspection? What's a Helios? Um, it's a... Shut the hell up. Where's the hangar manager? Where's he at? You old crusty bastard, what's the big idea about this? Oh, he said he'd be off for the week. Something about quality time with assistant manager Fluffy? Kyle. Yes, sir? Go away. Alright guys, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and do the inspection myself. I understand y'all trying to get a jump on it, whatever. I'm going to be the one to determine if this thing is safe to go into battle or not. And uh, here we have the Helios, the Gundam Helios. That is a really stupid name, but hey, you know it is what it is. So man, there's a lot of information here, there's a lot of things going on. It, what it looks like is y'all stripped parts from the Freedom Gundam, which was a fantastic suit alone. Y'all stripped parts from it. Then you took parts from the Destiny Gundam. And then you took parts from the Gundam X, which is a top tier mobile suit. And y'all mixed all that together to make this. Who is the manufacturer? It doesn't even say. There's no manufacturer on here. It's just... It just says something about battle log project. What the hell is a battle log? Now for some of the specs like the height and weight, these things, these numbers are just really way off. We'll talk about the details on the armor. Uh, it does look pretty good. The armor should suffice in taking damage appropriately and not getting into the inner frame and the core components. So, hey, it has an inner frame. That's something I could definitely say about this mobile suit. And it does look aesthetically it looks good, but from a distance, you obviously know how much of a mix mash this thing is. And it's fucking hideous in certain ways. But uh, we'll get into those uh, little details later. Now for articulation, uh, it's okay. The waist is really loose. Like, extremely loose. So we're going to have to... I'm, I'm writing the discrepancy right here. This is a critical hit, by the way. Critical hit. So we're gonna go in there and do some uh, maintenance on that waist to make sure it is sturdy and it locks in as well as can hold uh, certain poses. But overall, that waist joint is just bad. Everything else though, really don't have any problems with it. We got a lot of good turning on the uh, the forearm, which is fantastic, but uh, it does look pretty good. Pilot, I don't even give a shit to be honest. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Uh, almost everything about this mobile suit, I have zero interest. And more than likely, it's just going to fail. It's just going to fail the safety inspection. Um, but hopefully the weapons section and the testing can actually redeem this suit. And maybe it could be cleared. But you know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and move out to the testing site. All right, thank you for being out here for the testing site. Uh, starting off with the weapons, we do have two large beam swords. These things are going to be stored uh, where the satellite cannons are, which is... And insane but yeah close combat armaments basically are mounted at the base of it and um, yeah use energy from the satellite system powerful enough to slice through mobile suits in a single blow that is pretty powerful then all right so next we're going to have the beam shield a light wave barrier shield created from a generator installed in the forearm it can also be used for attacks i don't know how it's being used for attacks maybe like a a shield bash of sorts but yeah, you basically just uh, deploy it from the forearms. Next we're gonna have is going to be the high energy beam rifle. This thing was basically just stolen straight from the Destiny Gundam. And that's 
oh, that's blasphemy. If, if, if I had to speak my opinion, that's straight up blasphemy. You don't steal for destiny. You don't do that. But anyways, it's basically the same kind of weapon, uh, just kind of recolored. Now another thing is still is going to be these plasma beam cannons. Those things just rotate right underneath from the wings. And one thing I need to I need to talk about this. Why the hell are those wings upside down? Like, uh, why? You, why can they not be upside right? Like, it just I don't get it. I don't get this mobile suit. I want to beat the shit out of the person who designed this, and I just. Mm, I want them to cease exist, but anyways, it does have the uh, plasma beam cannons. There's going to be these satellite cannons. So basically, uh, the wings on the back, everything just opens up. You got like little satellite dishes and fins all over the body. Those things open up. Uh, you got the chest piece. Like everything just absorbs, uh, I guess, energy. This is take. It's supposed to take the satellite from the moon and basically use that energy, convert it, bam, satellite energy. Some shit. Look, I, I don't know. I don't know. This thing is a goddamn insane fucking firepower that can probably destroy ships upon ships. Um, so it's it's kind of weird, to be honest. Next we're going to have is going to be the Palm Beam Cannons. This is actually the Palma Fiocina Beam Cannon. Look, I'm, I'm not French or, or whatever the hell language that is. So I'm not going to go ahead and butcher that name anymore. It's just goddamn Palm Beam Cannons. So it's going to be installed on each palm, much like the Destiny unit. So that's actually pretty cool. I wish I, I wish more units had this. Like it's such an easy weapon. You just put it into the palm of the hand. Bam! You're doing some command mayas all day long. So I don't know, miss opportunity. But uh, other than that, I mean, you got some chest Vulcans. Uh, you got some head Vulcans. All really neat. But yeah, this thing is just really, really decked out in equipment. Uh, so let's go back to the hangar and let's determine if this thing is going to be safe to deploy. Alright guys, so looking at the overall list of discrepancies, the critical discrepancy is going to be that waste unit. Um, I also failed to mention that this thing requires a lot of color correction. So whoever were the painters for this, they failed. Uh, there's a lot, there's a sheet out there that we can take and pull from to color correct it, but it's going to look sloppy. So. Uh, this is something that the painters are going to have to, uh, you know, work on for this mobile suit. But yeah, that's uh, also a discrepancy. The painters should have done their job. I don't know why uh, they're slacking. You know, most of these units should be coming in here fully decked out and fully color accurate uh, to the scheme and to the uh, blueprints. Other than that, I mean, I don't really have too many other discrepancies. I think it's overpowered. Um, I'm going to mark the wings upside down as a discrepancy because. You know, that's, that's goddamn stupid. That was, that's just stupid. So, about three major discrepancies. Eh, two, two major, one minor. I'm going to go ahead and deem this not safe. The waste is just too big. It's just too big of an issue. So, if you have the power and capabilities, which we do, to fix that waste unit, it shouldn't take more than just some uh, external materials to go ahead and tighten it up. But once we get that fixed, then I can go ahead and deem it uh, deployable. But other than that, it's going to be grounded for a little bit until we get it to where we need to. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this unit. It's a shame, you know, I, I think it has a chance to be something special. But yeah, whoever designed it, um, they're, they're idiots. And you have only them to blame. That's it for me. So. Uh, good, good inspection overall. I'll go ahead and I'll get this uh, filled out and I'll send it to y'all so I can do the corrective action. Otherwise, thank you for coming and hearing uh, this, you know, safety brief. Uh, and then I'll be seeing y'all in the next safety inspection. Peace out, guys.